Wolfpack TV. This is Wolfpack TV on WIWolfpack.com. And unlike last week's edition of Wolfpack TV, this one's going to be a pretty happy one. 58 to 20 is your final score at the Hartmeyer Arena tonight as the Wisconsin Wolfpack knock off the Chicago Cardinals in a blowout. We'll talk with Marcus Lewis of the Wisconsin Wolfpack, who had a very big evening catching the football. But first to Nicole LeBlanc, who had the chance to talk with the Chicago Cardinals kicker, Julie Harshbarger. Standing next to me, I have Julie. She is the kicker for the Chicago Cardinals, and she is the only female in the league. Julie, tell me, there must be some kind of pressure that comes with being the only female in what is known as a male-dominated sport. Can you explain that to me? No, not really. I don't think. Just because I'm only kicking, so just run in and kick. I don't know. <laughs> How did you get involved with the team? Um, I've been playing since high school, and um, I guess played in like a game last year with a few of the guys, and they needed a kicker, so they brought me in and gave me a shot. Okay, you took a hard hit there in the fourth quarter. How do you recover from some of these bigger guys? I don't know, that was like my first tackle for indoor or attempt. It was kind of bad. Well, how do you feel, Al? Good. I didn't feel anything, so. <laughs> well, that's good. All right, thanks for talking with us, Julie. Thank you. Back to you, Dan. Thank you very much, Nicole. Let's talk now with a big star in tonight's Wolfpack win, Marcus Lewis. Thank you very much, Wolfpack TV. Now here with Marcus Lewis. Ten catches, 136 yards, and two touchdowns for you tonight in a big 58-20 win over the Chicago Cardinals. You were feeling it tonight, and, and talking with Jordan Kopak before the game, you spent some time up in Canada recently. Now you're back here in the States, and you're definitely feeling comfortable. Yeah, absolutely, man. I took a week off, and, you know, it just feels good to be back now, you know, and play with the teammates, you know, get in in with the quarterback, you know, and just have fun out here and win games, man. It feels good. What was it tonight that you were able to expose in Chicago's defense? Obviously, the Wolfpack put up big numbers in their first win against the Cardinals, a 44-18 victory down in Chicago, but tonight it seemed like you had their rhythm and more. Well, I mean, we knew that, you know, coming in the game that, you know, they were going to be well prepared for us. You know, we, we definitely uh, aired it up last time we played them. And, uh, you know, basically this time, you know, we just wanted to execute every play, you know, you know try to take things slow, you know, and, you know, try to take things one step at a time, you know, and, you know, make plays when we can, and that's what we did. Of course, the guys suffered that loss last week to Miami Valley. How important was it tonight to bounce back from that game? Extremely important, especially when it's at home. You know, Wolfpack games, man, we're not supposed to lose at home, you know, period. So, you know, coming out here, you know, we definitely had to put our foot down, and, you know, we was going to win this game. We was going to win by a lot, you know. Last question for you. Cincinnati next week, everyone knows how big that game is in the CIFL. How do the guys stay relaxed for a game that's going to be that important in the league? Man, you know, you really can't tell. You know, everybody has their own thing. You know, everybody prepares differently. You know, what I try to do is just stay relaxed, you know, knowing that it's a big game, you know. Everybody's going to have, you know, jitters. Everybody's going to be a little scared. But, you know, you just got to play your game, man. It's going to come out. A big night for Marcus Lewis tonight. Thanks for joining us on Wolfpack TV. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be here. Wolfpack TV here with head coach Jordan Kopak following a 58-20 win over the Chicago Cardinals tonight. Let's start with the offense. A huge night for Matt Shabert and crew. Marcus Lewis, 10 catches, two touchdowns. Nothing you guys couldn't do through the air tonight. Yeah, it, uh, it was really good the way it worked out. We, we decided to magnify on our offense tonight. Of course, Marcus was back. You know, he was up in the Canadian League for a couple of weeks, and so we didn't have him last week. And you know, it's Calvin we don't have, so we are down two receivers. We're getting them back now, so things should work out. Next week, okay, this one behind you, you start looking at the Cincinnati Commandos. They almost fall to the Fort Wayne Firehawks tonight. They're able to pull out a 49-46 victory. Can they be had here at the Hartmeyer Arena? Yeah, there's no question that, uh, that they can be had, and, and they'll be ripe for it. All we have to do is put together an offensive show like we did tonight. We had a couple of hiccups, but we got to stay away from those hiccups. And like I always say, just like golf, you don't think about the last shot, you don't think about the next shot, you think about the one you're taking. Well, now we've taken this shot tonight, so we can start thinking about uh, Cincinnati. Except before the game, I read the uh, right act to the players about last week, uh, because I'm still not gonna lay that to rest because that was a dead ball, and you can't score a touchdown with a dead ball. Anybody can beat anybody in the CIFL. We talked about it last week on Wolfpack TV. You have two more games left to go, Jordan. Do you think this team is peaking at the right time? Well, uh, I'll let you know next week, but I think so. I think uh, uh, we had a little uh, stutter last week, but like I say, we were down two linebackers and two receivers, and 
and that's not an excuse because you got to keep coming back and we knew from the beginning that a team that we end up on the field playing a championship game isn't the team you start with. 58-20, your final score. The Wisconsin Wolfpack over the Chicago Cardinals tonight. Jordan Kopak, thanks for joining us on Wolfpack TV. It's more fun after you win, isn't it? Indeed it is. And that's a wrap, folks. 58-20, your final score tonight. Now the Wisconsin Wolfpack have a big challenge in front of them. The Cincinnati Commandos undefeated heading into this next game. Start time at the Hartmeyer Arena, 7 o'clock on Saturday night as the Wisconsin Wolfpack try and hand the Commandos their first loss of 2010. For Nicole LeBlanc, Mark Cook behind the camera, and everyone involved with Wolfpack TV, I'm Dan Pfeiffer. You're going down, Spittle. We got Dan Pfeiffer over here. Wolfpack TV. So what am I doing here? Am I just doing a conclusion? How are we going to send it to...